whole fool though. Come on, dude. Look, at, look how goofy dude is trying to tow uh -huh. my car when I'm standing right here. Yeah. And you find your phone looking crazy. <laughs> Denver Nuggets, huh? Dude trying to tow my whip. Dude look goofy. You supposed to be a brother. You supposed to look out for other brothers. I feel you. I got a job too, man. You supposed to look out for other brothers. You black. You know how it go. You trying to tow a nigga for what? I'm Puerto Rican. I show up. First and foremost, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makakwadash. That belongs to the apostles and elders of GMS who are well. Peace, salutations to the like Akim with the four corners, pushing the truth of sincerity. Peace be unto you with Shalom. Herein lies the reason why referring to yourself and your nationality as a color is stupid. And why referring to yourself as Puerto Rican is stupid. Puerto Rico was not named by the indigenous people who lived in Puerto Rico prior to conquistadors coming it wasn't called Puerto Rico they weren't calling themselves Puerto Ricans the term Boricua is Hebrew the people of the land of Puerto Rico are Hebrews they are Hebrew Israelites conquistadors came and took over the land that is called Puerto Rico to this day and called it Puerto Rico, which means Porto means port. Rico means rich. They called it rich port because it was rich in so many gold, minerals, and other valuable things. Edomites came with the concept of referring to nations as the color of their skin which is not accurate at all you can't determine somebody's nationality by the color of their skin it's just completely just stupid dumb as can be the o has two little dots over the o so it might be pronounced gotagen university of gotagen a young man studying medicine there in 1775 publishes a thesis, his thesis, called On the Natural Variety of Mankind. On the Natural Variety of Mankind. Degenerous Humani Varietate Nativa. Degenerous Humani Varietate Nativa. On the Natural Variety of Mankind. And in his thesis, this young man explored the classification of human races based upon craniological research. Craniological being, just what you think, being the study of the hard casing enclosing the human brain. That being the human skull. So in his 1775 medical doctoral thesis, this young man began to look at the size and shape of the human skull. And he began to draw some conclusions. And I want to underscore here right off the break that this gentleman was not studying the brain itself. He was studying the hard material encasing and closing the brain. He was studying the size and shape of the human skull. That is an important fact and distinction to keep in your mind and in your consciousness as we delve deeper into this conversation. So again, that was in 1775. And in 1779, some four years later, this same young man, based upon his continued cranial research, he divided the human species into five races based upon his examination of skulls five human races and he broke down those races as follows number one the caucasian or white race number two the mongolian or yellow race including all east asians and some central asians number three the malayan m-a-l-a-y-a-n the Malayan or brown race, including Southeast Asian and Pacific Islanders. So this would be your Dwayne Rock Johnsons. OK, number four, the Ethiopian or black race, including sub-Saharan Africans. And a quick word about the Ethiopians really study Ethiopia. 
I'm pretty convinced that Ethiopia is the cradle of civilization as we know it on this earth. I'm pretty, I'm 90 to 95 percent sure in all of my readings and studies. It all starts. Now, just to take some uh, meat off of this bone, he just went off right there. Uh, Ethiopia is not the cradle of civilization. If, uh, in fact, Africa is not the cradle of civilization. Started in Ethiopia. That's kind of where I'm at at this point in my studies. Number five, the American or red race, including American Indians. And again, all of this was based upon this young man's craniological research. All right. His study of the human skull. And his name was Johann Friedrich Blumenbach. Johann, J-O-H-A-N-N, -N, Friedrich, F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H, Blumenbach. B-L-U-M-E-N-B-A-C-H, a German national, a man of European descent, a physician, physiologist, and anthropologist. In 1779, Blumenbach divided the human species into five races, all based upon his research and observations of about 60, six zero human skulls. So let that sink in a bit, brothers and sisters. This was done some 238 or so years ago. So that's your origins of calling black a nationality. There is no nation on this earth called black. So if there's no nation called black, it cannot be a nationality. So it's just completely stupid. So you got one guy saying you're supposed to be black, and another guy saying I'm Puerto Rican. And both of them are arguing about bywords. The, they're, they're both arguing about the correct byword to call each other. That's just completely just dumb, stupid, and madness. He's not black or Puerto Rican. Michael Porter's not black or Puerto Rican. You are an Israelite. This is Isaiah chapter 1 verse 4. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. So the Most High in here is basically saying the ass knows who he is, what he is, what he comes from. The ox even knows. You know, because, you know, an ox's master is owner. He knows who it is. It's not going to just respond to just any and everybody. But Israel doesn't know who their master, who their king is. So we don't respond. So we respond to any and everybody. Somebody call us black, Negro, African American. We respond to all of that. Because we don't know. If you know who your king is, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? We're going to tell you something. to know who you are where you come from it's important to know that the scriptures talks about remember the days of old this is isaiah chapter 46 verse 9 remember the former things of old for i am allah I am, and there is none else i am allah I am, and there is none like me so the former days is everything who we are law says your commandments the covenant all of that we're supposed to remember that we have a covenant with the Most High. You can't break that covenant. We got to keep it forever. So you got to know what that is. Part of that is knowing what your nationality is. Another verse, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 5. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thither, saying, Come and let us join ourselves to Yahweh in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. And now's the time to be doing that. Don't be looking when there's a famine of the word. And you can't find it all of a sudden. So the time to be doing that is now. So you're supposed to be finding out who you are and what your what your responsibility is to do. And I'm guaranteed that Michael Porter Jr. has ran across a Hebrew Israelite video. So he knows. So now it's about applying it. 